<clears throat> Hello, Kiss Universe. It is Jay with Earthly Kisses coming today with, you guessed it, with the big box right here. This is another shopping haul. It's another shopping haul. It's that time of the year for me where I replenish everything from the end of the year and I start thinking about any new products that I want to introduce so I can get into my test phases and everything. <clears throat> so, uh, this is, I believe, from Wholesale Supplies Plus. And uh, we got a nice amount of goodies going on in the box here. And actually, I think I'm going to sit the box on the floor. Because uh, we got quite a bit going on in this box. Oh. First, the boring part. <laughs> I ordered some title bottles uh, for some lotion. Uh, for all you newbies out there that's looking to get into the soaping and handmade uh, bath and body works business, um, Wholesale Supplies Plus has a surplus section. If you go to the surplus section, you can get some really cool deals on some things that you don't normally see them list on the site. Uh, for example, I don't think they regularly carry bottles in this color, but I went to the surplus section and it was marked down really, really, really low. So, I went right on ahead and I ordered some. And I see trouble on the horizon already. Now, my box was kind of beat up. It was really, really beat up. And I have powder everywhere and as a matter of fact let me get this on video uh, these are some of the things that you want to look into uh, when you are placing orders with these wholesale suppliers you know when you have problems with your order they want to see what's going on so you see that we got powder going on in the bottom of the box and I have not discerned what it is. It might be from this bag of sugar. I, ordered. I don't want to take it out and it starts spewing everywhere. Oh yeah. This bag of sugar is busted. There's a big hole in the side right here. And there's a hole poked in that bag. There are no holes poked into my box even though my box is beat up pretty good um so I don't know where the heck that hole came from uh so I'm gonna have to send this to them so as you can see the water the sugar is coming out everywhere and the hole is in the bag right there so that's a disappointment because that's going to slow me down on some things that I'm trying to get done. But back to the video. Just a moment. Alright. So I got to deal with that. So I got these on from the surplus section on the website. They are really, really cheap. And um, yeah, I have no doubt in my mind that those are going to sell very well. I actually have a particular scent that I have in mind uh, to go in these bottles. That, that I did order a bag of sugar, um, and for the most part, I ordered it just to see what the difference is. And then I've noticed that the cost of the sugar on Wholesale Supplies Plus website is a little bit more expensive uh, than what I pay buying super large bags uh, from the grocery store. Um, but so many people had commented on the quality of the sugar, the fineness of the sugar for facial scrubs and so forth. So I got it to play with, um, but I'm not playing with no sugar that got a hole in the bag because now it's not sanitary. So, yeah, they're going to have to replace that. So, I also ordered a bag of European salt. Uh, this is the blended salt, which means that it's all types of grain in here. There's fine grain, there's medium grain, there's coarse grain. It's all in there. Um, I ordered this so I can play around with some um, salt bars. I've yet to make uh, uh, any salt bars as of yet. Um, for the most part, anything that seems to be too complex, 
I've been shying away from. So I'm trying to get my get my complexity legs up under me. So I ordered that to try that out. And then um I got another uh bag of European spy salt. This this is the fine grain spa salt and I'm gonna use this uh to make some facial scrubs. And some other scrubbies because my husband asked me, how come you don't make salt scrubs? So I'm going to make some salt scrubs. You <laughs> 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 didn't say it like, no, you didn't say it like that. <laughs> so, and then I got some isopropyl mystery state, or however you say that. I don't know how you say that. Why did it come in two bottles? I don't know why this came in two bottles like this. Um, oh, this is new. Well, you know, because everything that they send is by pound. And normally, if you order a pound or something, it comes in a bottle this size. But because of the weight of this, couldn't get a whole pound in this. So they put the rest of it in this other bottle here. So I'm definitely going to have to weigh that to make sure that I got everything that I paid for. <laughs> And if you watched some of my previous shopping haul videos, you know that I have been playing around with ingredients for a hair conditioner. So I ordered this from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I've been trying to find a BTMS uh, 50. Um, I can you can find 25 all day long, but um, the only sites that I normally don't shop with carries the 50, and I'm not about placing an order just for one thing. Uh, so I was already placing an order with Wholesale Supplies Plus, and I was checking them out to see if they carried it. And as you guys know, they have been like really renaming a lot of the things that they carry. And I could have sworn that they carried it, but if they did, they've changed the name to this Emulsifying Wax Conditioning Plus. Now I've checked on the. Um, and the questions and answers to see what they're saying and they're not exactly claiming that this is BTMS 50 however they say you can use it in place of BTMS 50 and it has similar results in the end product uh, when compared to using actual BTMS 50 so I bought a small pack of this to try and it says here on the package that this is Behentrimonium Multisulfate and Cetyl Alcohol that's what it says on the package and here's a bunch of other little sampling things that I ordered I ordered small because I don't know if I'm going to like it I'm still in some test phases so we got some carrot seed extract because as you know I've been making soaps with the carrot powder and I like it as a matter of fact I do have a soap that I will be testing very soon um it's not cured as of yet because it is a Bastille recipe so it's going to be a while before it's actually ready to sell but I'm still going to take a little end piece and see how well it leathers so I got some carrot seed extract to go in some conditioner and I don't know if you can see that but there's really not that much in that bottle but I ordered it anyway just to test it out then I got some wheat germ oil um, that's also for some hair conditioner and then I uh, got some preservative so here we got some germal plus now it's interesting on the bottle <laughs> this says germal plus but when you go to the website, it says something totally different. Um, they, like I said, they're changing the way the na way they name their things there. Um, so on the website, it says water soluble PF. It no longer says Germal Plus but on the bottle it does. Weird. Uh, and then I ordered some, uh, I don't know how to say this exactly, Babasu oil. I've seen so many soapers make soaps uh, with this and this is, uh, this is rather thick. This is much thicker than I thought it was going to be. Uh, <laughs> this is what happens when you order things that you don't know what you're ordering. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is a uh, thick like coconut oil or palm oil so I'm gonna have to figure out how to work with this but I ordered a small bottle just to play around with it and see what that's gonna do I ordered some argan oil I love this in my hair treatments don't mind my hands guys I've been cleaning up and I touched some uh, chromium oxide or something I think that's what's on my hand uh, I ordered this uh, to go in some hair treatments and I think I've pretty much got it down mastered and everything and I may start offering it to the public it is just a uh, misting spray that I use on my hair and if you're a natural curly girl you'll know what I mean by having a misting spray uh, but I use one um, with some Ayurvedics and so forth and I put the argan oil in there and then I ordered some neem oil um, as you guys know I make a facial soap uh, with neem powder and I may just try a small batch with some neem oil to see which method I like better uh, when I made it with the when I make it with the neem powder it is very thick there's really nothing that I can do with it and I want to make it pretty so I bought some neem oil to try that out Here's another preservative that I bought on the bottle. It says Optifin Plus, but on the website it says Preservative Sorbic Acid Plus 2 PF. So, be careful when you buy your preservatives on Wholesale Supplies Plus. Um, I don't know why they're changing their names up on things, but they are. Uh, then I got some bamboo ashtray again that is for hair care products and lotions and I got some hemp seed oil um, I wanted to see what the quality of their hemp seed oil is like I have made a soap with uh, some hemp seed once before and I really really enjoyed it uh, but I haven't revisited because this oil is expensive this oil is expensive so um, I don't see me offering anything with hemp seed oil in it <laughs> in the foreseeable future, um, at least not for right now, because that is a very, very expensive oil. Uh, this babasu oil is rather expensive as well, hence the reason why I got small bottles, because, yeah, it's expensive. That's why I got such small bottles of some of these oils. So I wanted to play around with them, see how to work with them, um, and see how I like them. Now this hemp seed oil, um, it's not as thick as I would like. Um, last hemp oil that I used, it was an organic, all natural hemp oil, and it was rather thick. This seems kind of loose, so um, yeah, I'll have to see what that does. But this is my shopping haul again. I'm still in testing phases of some hair conditioner and so forth. Um, I got my misting spray down pack, and I just very well may uh, make a hair lotion uh, to go right along with that that is provided I like the way this works out if not then I'm just gonna have to go find that BTMS 50 um, so yeah I haven't really had a chance to play with that and if you guys know the answer to this question leave me a comment down below um, and the reason why, the reason why I'm looking for the BTMS 50 uh, is because it's said to be a better emulsifier for hair conditioners. Now, some places I've seen recipes for hair conditioners with the BTMS 25. So I'm asking all of you experts out there who are already making hair conditioner, if you do, um, tell me what is the difference between the 25 and the 50? Why isn't the 25 as good as the 50? Um, yeah, I just want to make sure that I'm using, I'm, I want to make a nice, good, handmade, deep conditioner, and I know I'll get that with the 50, but if it's achievable with the 25, then I'm willing to try it, because I have more than enough BTMS 25, uh, because I thought I was ordering 50, and I got 25, and said, <clears throat> so, that is my shopping haul for today. 
So, on the horizon, the coming videos will be some salt bars, some salt scrubs, and when I get my testing phases under control, it will be some hair conditioner and maybe possibly a hair lotion. Okay? So that's our haul for today. And like I said, you know, it may not seem like a lot. It may not seem like much. But you can do big things with small packages. And until the next soapy video, I hope you like this. If you are uh, still watching and you haven't subscribed, do me a favor. Hit the red button. And while you're next there, there to the hair red button, hit the bell so you can get all the notifications of my upcoming soapy videos. If you're an old subscriber, thanks so much for continuing to coming back and commenting and liking and watching me and just giving me encouragement and the, the pleasant comments about my soaps. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart. And until the next soapy video, bye!